Andy and Dave Daly right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. Dave Cackley's over there. Oh, yeah. Woo! They're Get those nasal, nasal membranes open. This expired in September. Of course. Uh, hope's still good. Live life in the fast lane, man. Take risk. Live fast. Uh, okay. No. Uh, Sit, sit, sit up straight. When you did that, you look like that guy from You Don't Know Jack. Remember that game? Oh, I can't. No, uh, I vaguely recall. It was a computer game, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, it was, vaguely it was recall it. Fun for five minutes. Ugh. Yeah, and then it was dumb. All right. What What you in such a rush for? I'm not in a rush for anything. Oh, I got to do My West Michigan again today. Oh, well. I got to do the chatty the, chat chat. I have and, to do the My uh, West Michigan program. You know, oh, I'm, in, I'm, I'm a traffic reporter, highly in demand among uh, Yeah, you are. Locals. You should tuck your shirt in better when you're on TV. I saw you a it few minutes ago. Uh, hey, man, I, th- what happens is it, it comes out when you're, you know, you're moving around. You're talking about all these slovenly. crashes that are happening. And, uh, you know, I. Uh, and, and, you know, I still think the whole follow me on Twitter thing, I think you're adding to the problem. Not at all. I need there more people are. following People are doing, I, you know, 70 miles an hour down the highway, and you're like, hey, watch me on Twitter. Twitter. And then Wait, they're like, oh, Twitter, Twitter. Twitter. You're, you're, hey. Twitter. Pull yeah. off to the side. Follow me on Twitter. Dave Cackley, keeping the funeral business in bit going since how long have you been doing this? A uh, decade. Decade on right. the TV. You're the Grim Reaper uh, of Twitter. Drive and watch me on Twitter. Perfect. I've been a professional traffic reporter, though, I think for about uh, 17 years now. Wow. Holy crap. A kid has been born and can now get into uh, rated R movies and probably shave during the time <laughs> I've started this, since I started this uh, less than lucrative career path. <laughs> and uh, what so, better use of your degree from Western Michigan University in no, no, Elizabethan no poetry? Question. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. What are you going to do? Surprise us with some news this morning? Or are yeah, you going to? Let's do it. I'm let's ready. do it. Okay, President Trump's longtime friend and political operative Roger Stone has been arrested. Uh oh. Stone is facing indictment on seven charges, including witness tampering in the Uh-oh. Mueller probe of possible collusion between Russia and the Trump campaign in the 2016 election. We'll see if anything comes of this. I mean, Uh-oh. I mean nothing ever seems to eat. I mean, there's a reason some call him Teflon Don. Nothing really seems to stick to him. We'll see if anything from this sticks Uh Uh, you know they're gonna you know you know the the democrats are gonna are gonna start impeachment proceedings at some point he will not get removed unless Mm -hmm. something something there is there and we'll see i'm I'm curious i'm curious i i I like it i'm a big fan of indictments i'm a big fan of I'm i'm a big fan of indictments the fbi knocking down the door cnn just happens to be there Wonder who know, the man. FBI gave CNN the the heads up. And there's some there are some uh, irritated people in the Federal uh, Bureau of Investigations, uh, <laughs> and rightfully so. I can understand that. I, so I, just, I can't we'll believe see. anything crooked would go on. Oh. Dave, are you kidding me? Man, no, th- 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 this wouldn't have surprised me if it would have happened with any administration ever that we've ever had. No. Nothing surprises me. Okay. With anybody in this arena, nor should it surprise anybody. Right. It's politics, man. Dirty, dirty, right. dirty, dirty business. Shouldn't be. I uh, hate. Well, you know, I, I see, that's what I like about you. I like your your optimism. It shouldn't I be like a dirty. Your, pol- it shouldn't be a dirty business. You're right. It sh- But it it what it, it has been since it started. It was- since the beginning of time, there ne- has there ever been anybody that you were sure like this guy is no question he's above board. Right. Name one. I can't name one. Even if you go back to our founding fathers. Yeah. Uh, there's dirt. There's a lot of dirt. Yeah. So I just shrug my shoulders and right. continue. L I V I N. Go all Matthew McConaughey on you. All right, what else is going on? Vaping continues to be an alleged concern as it rises in use among West Michigan teenagers. Local teens are reportedly vaping in hallways, (gasps) bathrooms, (gasps) even classrooms at schools. A recent survey showed 37% of high school seniors have vaped in the last 12 months. Once again, during the same time, we've seen drops in opioid use, uh, cocaine, meth, all the the major drugs, but, but the kids are vaping. 
Well, you know, I'm, I'm not for kids vaping. And, and I'll tell you why I'm not for kids vaping. It, it comes down to the addictive qualities of nicotine, period. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. wicked. It, 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 and, and, you know, I guess I'm not against vaping if you're going to use it as a ramp down to get yourself yeah. off cigarettes. But... Uh, you, but you're going to replace one vice with another. As, I, and, and, you know, that's that's vape? the other argument. You know, you, you know, yeah. it, it's uh, but there's just still not enough out there about this vaping right. to know anything about it. And that's that is a valid point. Nicotine on, is. Yeah. Let's just put it this way. I would prefer to err to the side of caution when it comes to this vaping stuff. So let's do what we can do to keep kids away from it. Fair enough. But would you would you agree with me that would you at least give me give me this concede this point if you will okay that if if the rise in vape vaping also leads to a decrease in these other drugs especially opioids we all know the opioid problem we have if that brings that down I got to call it a net positive Meh. based on what we know without question okay without, well, we that's know, your based opinion on what I, we know, I, I, I Okay, you okay. Vicodin vaping. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Vicodin or vaping. Vaping is easier. Va- va- vaping with nicotine is a lot easier to get, and it's a lot easier mm-hmm. to use, and it's 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 right. super, supposedly okay too. Right. Whereas Vicodin, not so easy to get, not so acceptable. Um, so it's you not, know, it's a no greener mm, though. My point is, it's a no, to to me, no, it's not a defense. To me, it's a based on the knowledge we have now. Now you're right. Down the road, more could come out. Maybe vaping grows a third arm on you, or uh, it is is wor- it is it's got some carcinogen car- carcinogens right. that lead to uh, an even worse form of cancer. Right now, we don't have that evidence. Right. So right now, without question, it's better than all these other things. So I really just it doesn't even cause me to raise an eyebrow the, okay. the rise in vaping. I just but don't care. What if Max came home vaping? I'd be like, stop doing that. You can't vape now. When you're 18, go ahead. Yeah. I, you know, if would I would I perf- okay, ask me another question. Vaping or cigarettes, man? Vaping, 100%. No question. Okay. I got to choose one of those. No question. Right. Vaping is better than any of those other things that have gone down. All right. No brainer. I'm going to go buy a mini cig. Ba- <laughs> Max, look what I got you. I say, okay, see, you, you twisted what I said. I don't want to do just it asked. either. Yeah, and I told you what the lesser of the evils was. Okay. There you go. I don't hey, understand oh, how to I got a suggestion for you. What? You got to put this on your list of Netflix stuff. Oh, okay. Root I'm Cause. Here. Root Cause. What's it yep. about? It's about um, people that get root canals. Oh, okay. And the canal. argument is you get a root canal, right? Mm-hmm. They leave the tooth in your head mm-hmm. and that area that they clean out to kill off mm-hmm. the the root and, and all that other stuff. Yeah. The argument is that that's just leaving dead tissue in your body. Okay. Like if they were to take out your appendix or if they were to take out a, a you know, your kidney that's bad or anything like that and just leave it there, okay. it would tend to rot in that that all the rot would tend to work its way into your system and cause all kinds of other problems. Mm-hmm. Same thing with the teeth. It's a mm-hmm. pretty compelling argument. So put that on your well, list of things to watch. Well, yeah, they've said that about, you know, that that's one of the reasons you need to take care of your teeth is because it can lead to a lot of other issues down right. the road. If you don't, I mean, uh, and it's, you, you know, some of this stuff has, it's been debated uh, too well, much. And, you know, this could be up for, open for be- debate still, but because you see a lot is, of, this a lot is, of, super old people with rotted teeth so yeah right so you should watch this though all right of course you haven't watched I'll anything else i've told you so why wait no you i have thought about it and i've got like yeah. i said i've got all these other things going on i got yeah, i still got to you i still got to finish, all your other bird, I gotta finish bird box i got to finish bird box no, i'm like you don't it's 40 awful. minutes into that it's not all based on what i've seen so far it's it's kind of fascinating oh. i like it so far so far i like it we shall see Lumberjacks back at L.C. Walker this weekend. Muskegon taking on the Fargo Force tonight. Jacks will then face off against the Team USA under 18s on Saturday. Puck drop for both games, 7-15. Of course, that means Andy O'Reilly in the house. out and about uh, hanging with the peeps. And you know what else we uh, got this weekend? Not allowed into the VIP sections. No, nope, I'm not allowed in there. You have, you're not. You're, you know, you got it. I know. If, if I was there, I'd let you in. 
Oh, no, you, well, yeah, I couldn't I'll because the, the guy in the nice coat's there, and if I don't have yeah. the wristband. But if I say, look, man, you, you might not recognize me, but, you know. I, no, it doesn't really work that way. Uh, I'm just saying. You can, you can I, even I, go. I'll put in a good word for you. You know what? You could, you could even look at the guy in the nice coat, and you could go, you know, Andy's been here for 18 years. <laughs> it might be okay if he walked past this yeah. little gate here, and the guy in yeah. the coat's going to go, <clears throat> nope, sorry, can't do it. And that's what's going to happen. So, uh, uh, but, all right. Uh, I will also okay. throw this in there for the weekend with the, the lumberjack hockey and everything going on. There's a little bit of a polar plunge happening this weekend too. Oh, nice. so if you want to benefit Special Olympics and have a great time, you could go to the pre-splash bash tonight at Furcano's, and then of course the big whole polar plunge thing tomorrow down at Muskegon Lake and Furcano's. It's going to be, be a nice great time. Cold. It'll be nice and cold for that. It'll be Very perfect cold. Weather. Perfect plunge weather. Yes. There you go. You'll get your money's worth in your plunge. Yes. Sports, sixth-ranked Sparty goes on the road and spanks 19th-ranked Iowa, 82-67. to 67. Michigan State outscores Iowa by 21 in the second half. Michigan back on the road. They take on the Hoosiers in Indiana. Tonight, tip-off for that, I believe, is around 6 o'clock. That's sports. Have yourself a great weekend, and we'll see you back here Monday. Bye-bye. <laughs>